Hey guys, it's my first time making a tutorial video. Many of you would know I use MS Paint to draw and Anime Studio to animate. I'm not at a level to know everything about Anime Studio. I can only tell you the basics. So if you're a beginner, if you want to use Anime Studio to animate, this video is for you. Now I'm going to show you how to create a character from scratch. First thing you need to do is choose your software to draw. MS Paint is ideal, but I believe you have better softwares. Once you chose your software, start drawing different body parts. The head, the arm, the legs, the hand, etc. Make sure you save it as PNG. Now create a folder and put all the body parts inside. Now you have to find ways to make the body parts background transparent. Many drawn software has the tool to do it, but if you don't, Photoshop will do the job. I'll quickly show you. Open Photoshop, select the quick selection tool, drag the body parts in the software. You double click on the image, a box will show up. You click OK, then select the area you want and press delete. Then save it. Now open Anime Studio. It will look a bit like this. You create your character by selecting the bone. The folder you created earlier, drag all the body parts in the software. You can drag the arms and legs twice. It saves you from drawing it again. Now, you have to drag all the body parts inside the bone. Make sure the bone arrow is facing down. It means open, so you can put images inside. Now use the left hand side layer tools to adjust the body parts. I'm quite sure you can figure it out yourself. Once you have adjusted everything, I suggest you to save your work, but make sure it's in the same folder with your body parts. It's very important that they are connected. Let's say you drag some of the body parts out of the folder. Your work is going to look a bit like this. We are now adding bones to the character. Before we do, you need to know how the bone works. You first select the bone tool. You click and drag to create a bone. When it's highlighted in red, it means the next bone you drag is connected with this one. If you don't want the first bone to be connected with the next one, make sure you click into a space. You can tell when it's not highlighted in red. Now start adding the bones to the character. Once you have done everything, the movement will look a bit like this. To make the body and the movements move, you need to connect the bone to the body. This is how you do it. You first select the body part, then you select the bind layer tool, and just click on the bone that you want to link it with. You should see a red dot next to it once it's done. Then you should see improvements. As you know, the bone of the body and the neck is connected, but the bones of the arms and legs are disconnected. This is how you connect them back. Select the select bone tool and select a bone to connect. Then select the repairing bone tool. You click and drag it to the body bone. You do the same for the rest. Now all your bones are connected. Last part is the face. You must first draw the different parts of the face, the eyes, the mouth, and save on the same folder. Now go back to your anime studio. You go to the new layer and select switch. Double click on the switch. Rename the folder with a suitable name. For this character I would use two switch layers, which is the mouth and the eyes. Now drag the two switch layers inside the character bone. Then import the eyes and the mouth inside the suitable switch layer. When you right click on the switch layer, you can select the image you want to show. There is one more thing you need to do now. Connect the switch layer to the head bone. Select the switch layer, 
then select the bind layer and click on the head bone. You do the same with the other one. Now everything is connected. And there you have it. You have successfully built your own character using Anime Studio. I hope the information is enough to help you get started. If this video helped you, give me a like, share this video, and if you want, subscribe.